That's me, Kendall. I'm a 17-year-old girl getting off a bus and walking into a village in the African country of Zambia. I'm just a normal suburban high school girl who thinks she's pretty lucky to live such a great life, and I want to help kids in Africa do the same. My idea is simple, to inspire kids in the U.S. to care for kids in Africa. Running a nonprofit is a lot of work, especially because I have to go to school too. But here we are, six years later. We've inspired more than 7,000 kids to raise almost a million dollars. But because of my health problems, I never got to see for myself where all of this money was going. When my doctors finally said I was healthy enough to go, we packed our bags. Destination, Zambia. After a long trip, there we were, face to face with people I dedicated six years of my life to helping. But until now, I had only seen in pictures. We were so lucky to be able to visit the schools we've helped and meet the kids. We've raised money for school uniforms, shoes, learning materials, and we've even helped provide meals so each kid gets at least one meal a day. They were exactly how I thought they would be. Kids are kids. This is so cheesy, but they always say this, everyone smiles in the same language. And it's so true. They were just kids having fun. And they have a lot of fun. We bought Frisbees as gifts, but we didn't realize the kids had never seen Frisbees before. They were quick learners though, and pretty soon we had a great game going. We always have water, whether it's water to drink, to wash your hands, or even to water the lawn. And that's not the case in Africa. Water is valued. It's a prized possession. The amount of water we use to flush a toilet twice is what they use in one day. Kids Caring for Kids raises money so that more Zambians can have fresh water. They take a drill and they go deep into the ground to find a natural water source. You pump out water and it's clean, fresh water. It's crazy to look at the difference between the borehole water and the water that they were using. Women come up with containers on their heads and pump the water in, and then they put the containers back on their heads. I tried to support a container, and I couldn't do it. It hurt so bad, and they do it five times a day. It makes me feel like, why am I so lucky, and how could we let this happen? One of the most exciting parts of visiting Zambia was seeing our work with World Bicycle Relief. We took part in a bike distribution. A hundred students received new bikes. But this organization does so much more than hand out bikes. They give men in the community jobs by teaching them how to fix the bikes. And for some kids, it's really their only chance at getting an education. It's hope. It really is. I mean, that's plain and simple. It's hope for them to have a better future and them to be able to go to school. Because some of these girls won't get to go to school because they can't get to school because they have to do their chores. They're so vulnerable on the streets. It's not very safe where they live. We don't want them walking home at night or really early in the morning to get to school. What was really surprising to me is the number of kids to adults. There are not a lot of adults in the community because of AIDS, disease, and poverty. There are just so many little kids running around. We visited a 15-year-old boy named Kambani, who was HIV positive and had lost all of his family. Kids Caring for Kids raised money so that Kambani could get the right medicine to be healthy enough to go to school for the very first time. He told me what he wants to be when he grows up, and he said that he wanted to be a doctor so he can help other sick people. There is no reason that boy should not be in school and be able to follow his dreams and become that doctor. The fact that he wants to help people because he's been helped was something that I would always hope for. I'm a kid caring for a kid who is then going to care for another kid. And that's really what Kids Caring for Kids is all about. 